Let me show you how to send funds from one wallet to another using the BitPay app. So I, for demonstration, I have the sender and the recipient's wallet address right here in my app itself. So you can send the funds from one app, one wallet to another wallet, and it can be anybody's, uh, any recipient. So I'm going to copy the recipient's wallet address by clicking on receive here. Here you can see the QR code and uh, what we really need is the address here. I'm going to click on copy and once I've got it, I'm going to this, the wallet from which I'm planning to send the funds to. So here you will see the amount and below you can see the send. Here I can search and enter the address. This is where I will be sending the and if it's within a wallet it will actually show you inside the app itself whether uh, you can see the the test wallet 2 is the uh, recipient so it displays the wallet it displays the wallet but I'm going to uh, enter the wallet address here anyways and I'm going to enter the amount which is equal to 3 USC I'm going to click on send Here you will see the fee for sending this. On this screen, this is a confirmation page, and on here you can see the recipient's wallet address and the wallet from where it, where the funds are going, the minor fee, and the sending the amount you are sending, and the converted uh, default currency value that you've set in your wallet. You can even enter a transaction memo. Test transaction. I'm going to click on slide. This is a test wallet, so uh, the password is not really uh, secure. So once the payment says payment is successful, it will display the payment sent. And here in the activity tab, you will see the transaction being cleared. You can also see that the uh, amount is shown as sending. The transaction is shown as sending. Primarily because it takes up to six confirmations for the transactions to, in the case of BTC, to occur. When you click on the transaction tab, you, the individual transaction, you can see the full detail about how much the minor fee was, and uh, here you'll see that it's unconfirmed. Once it's confirmed, it will show the number of confirmations and the date the transaction was done.